Welcome everybody, this is Fragu from MLT Crew and Outfitters and you are watching the first episode of Dance Espresso. Today's topic is how can we support artists and culture in times of the second Corona lockdown? Because we all know Corona restrictions hit hard for most businesses, but it's absolutely devastating for artists and culture. Here is how to take back the power to support the arts and help our fellow artists to not go bankrupt. First, buy their stuff online. Obvious, right? Nothing more to explain. Second, spread the word. Share their work on social media so their work is exposed to more people who don't know them, who might later on buy their stuff. More money for our artists. And the third point is rate the shit out of art and artist venues. If we talk Amazon, Google Maps, TripAdvisor, whatever, your ratings are there to give the artists and the cultural venues social proof who makes it easier for people who don't know them to book something there. Now you probably ask, why is this shit what I'm doing called a dance espresso? That's why. See you next time. Welcome everybody, this is Fragu, back with episode 2 of Dance Espresso. Following up on the topic from episode 1, where we talked about how to support artists during a corona lockdown. We had a good response in episode 1, uh, seeing that people are eager to support us in hard times. So what now? Dear artists, make it easy for people to show their support and consume your art, even when you can't go out and dance on stage. Have something online that people can buy. Have classes that people can join via Zoom, Skype, whatever. Have Patreon or PayPal or Kofi set up that people can send money if they want to. Because what's not going to happen is somebody calling and be like, Fragu, can you please send me a bank detail? I want to send some money. Yo. Easy as that. People want to support, now we also have to give them the opportunity to do so. Easy, right? See you next time on Dance Espresso. What's up everybody, Fragu is back with another Dance Espresso. Today's topic, perfect is the enemy of good. Why do we say that? Because a lot of people are hesitant to show their work to the world because they think it's not perfect. In art, perfect is not the point. It's about your personal interpretation and how you see the world. In addition, the more you grow as an artist, the higher your expectations to yourself and your work. This means if you don't get used to show your work to people, you most likely never get anything out. Get used to work on something, show it to the people, learn from the feedback that you get for your next production and repeat. Because that's the way how you get a lot of work done. Until then, see you next time at Dance Espresso. Welcome back to another Dance Espresso. Today, receiving and listening to feedback. One of the most important things when listening to feedback is don't confuse the messenger with the message. This means your personal opinion of somebody should not cloud your judgment about their feedback. Sometimes the best feedback comes from the biggest assholes. Second to consider, do the people actually know what they are talking about? It's very likely that feedback from other dancers, choreographers, producers, or anybody who was part of a production process is more valuable than the one of your accountant or grandmother. Third, check out if you want feedback for an immediate impression or after people thought about it, because some pieces need some time to unfold if you want to see what impact it has on people after this time, don't ask for feedback immediately after seeing the piece. Give them time. 
And lastly, if some feedback doesn't make any sense in the context of your piece, goes against your way of working, or simply doesn't fit what you want to produce, feel free to ignore it. That's it for today. See you next time on Dance Espresso. What's up everybody, Fragu is back with another Dance Espresso. We are talking again about feedback because we got some good comments from Chris Cross and Parrish that are worth talking about. The first thing is, if people ask you for feedback, please give them feedback, okay? Yeah, it was nice, it's not proper feedback. Nobody can do anything with that, okay? If somebody asks you, tell them what you liked, what you didn't like, and where you see room for improvement. If you can, also tell them why you see room for improvement. Okay, that's something they can work with. Second, if you ask for feedback, don't even bother asking people where you know they will only tell you what you want to hear. Because then you're simply wasting time you could use getting valuable feedback to improve your piece. You don't want somebody to feed your ego when in reality you want to improve in your craft. There's no point in it. Be brave enough to ask for something you don't want to hear initially for a chance to become better at what you do. Short-term comfort is not more important than long-term growth. See you next time on Dance Espresso.